Yeah, in the top lane as well. I think Tusk here. Yeah, Tusk just spotted him out there. Yeah, just gonna back himself away as Zephyr comes forward. Skylark coming forwards as well. So uh, Trian, he's got himself a lot of heroes here. And uh, we get two on two. So these guys just scrapping it out. Boomback seems to be dropping kind of low here. They're ditching the room. They want the uh, they want to the damage the block off onto Skylark. Zephyr getting low though has to get away from this one. Uh, gonna put the salve actually to try and save himself. So. Meanwhile, down in the bottom lane, Gabby takes down the Death Prophet. And that'll be enough to chase him off. Only a fairy fire left on uh, the Treant. Meanwhile, Death Prophet getting low, but does pop the wand and the life drain as well. And in comes Yol to help out his... Uh, Bristle back. Meanwhile, oh. Luna up at top. They managed to get a kill into Necrofor. Zephyr getting low, but with the life... Uh, Boomback's running into the tree line, and the Glaive will finish him off. Necro's the only one that's having a bit of a more rough time, but even then, it's not doing too badly. Treant just uh, sparring up with uh, Boombacks here as uh, Zephyr goes in, but it's the first rotation from Stormy set level 6. He's going on to 458, and he will be able to take down the Luna. Meanwhile, the Tusk trying to get some damage onto the CM, and in comes Arjit. Will they be able to bring down the CM? Looks like they will, and looks like Tusk will survive. No spells available on that Crystal Maiden. And it's going to be a double kill for the first rotation from Arjit. And Luna at this point in the game as well, which is not massively quick. Also, Fatal Bonds giving away in your dream there as he went up to the high ground to try and uh, catch out the storm as he rotated back to mid, but a uh, uh, link from Fatal Bonds just showed them exactly where he was. Uh, we'll now go for the boat combo with the torrent as well. No zip away, available from Agit. One more right click, and in your dream finds it. Just just didn't have the time to zip away in that combo. And he picks up a hay soon as well. Yeah. The, the problem is with that combo that when you're the storm, if you have a lot of mana, it's easy to get out of it because while you're zipping, you can't be brought back by the X. Oh, bot lane. Oh, they're going hard and down comes the Eclipse as Gabby gets taken down and killed. Meanwhile, up at top, in your dreams, come on. He's going to try and bring down this Necro, but can't quite find the damage. Bottom lane, they're getting the Snowball forwards. They're going to go for that Death Prophet through the Crystal Maiden, but I think Boombacks could be in trouble here. He is indeed going to drop. Meanwhile, they were able to finish off that Necro at bottom, but in we Ooh. come. The Storm zipping in gets one from 458. Zipping up two kills here as Storm trying to clean up this Luna. Zipping right under tower. He's getting pretty low on mana though. I'm not sure he's going to be able to finish him off. But this Ice Sigil doing so much work. And actually Luna's going to get away. He's so close. Even turning around to get the Lucent Beam in knowing that he's out of mana. Can they actually finish him off? The two supports coming in. They've got the root with this right click from Zephyr. And now they're going to throw down the ulti. The tree is just going for it here. But down comes the side from Skylark. Looks like the Storm gets out away on no health at all. What an absolute clusterfuck of a game we've got going on. Work the fight together. Find some kills. They tried to transition it into a tower, but unfortunately the uh, team fight turned around very quickly. Oh, ping's coming out. They really want to go for this bounty rune. And In Your Dream has just been baited in with the promise of gold. And uh, he's really tanky, though. They're struggling to finish him off. Boombacks, he's got the ice shards available in one second. Down comes a golem. In fact, they really want to deal with this Kunker. The Tusk also doing a good job of staying alive. Finally, the Kunker goes down. Now Snowball is out onto K as the Maiden comes in. But Gabby is here. He's got these uh, quills. Can he finish off the Death Prophet? I think surely with the help of the golem, they can. Ajit zips in as well. They finish off the Death Prophet. Two heroes dead on the side of T. And see going just for a bounty rune, which turned into so much more for clutch gamers. Hey, that Kunker's a really valuable kill. He's top of net worth at the moment, so any kill you can get on this Kunker really hurts his mid game potential. They've got another overgrowth on Zephyr. I think they might want to try and go for Skylark here. As Zephyr comes right in, he's going to use the lit life seed. 458, yeah, clips available. They're just going to throw it right out here with the root. Skylark, he gets himself back up to full health. They can't find the last hit on him. Lucent beam available in one second. Doesn't matter, just do it with the right clicks. Now Gabby's in though, and these stacks will start to come up, but Gabby's taking a lot of damage. Maybe Zephyr will fall. He gets the uh, living armor off on himself, but the <laughs> quills just finish him off. Gabby will fall to Luna in response, and that's a double kill for Luna. I think the Tigers are going to be pretty happy about that one, honestly. Some really good vision from that. You can tell you're a support player. Hello? My support died. Oh, we got walls down. It's fine. Skylark on the run. 
He's uh, making his way to the tree line, but the life drain from K is here, and with his exorcism ticking up, I don't think Skylight's going to survive this one. Tries to use a medallion, but it's not quite enough. Now the pings come out onto Yol. Yol, uh, you got to be careful of those ghosts. Okay, just stand still and accept his fate. Meanwhile, Snowball coming into K. Can they get a return kill onto the Death Prophet? Punch up into the air. Can you bring her down? They've got the quills. They certainly can. Zephyr, the dust is out on him, and they will chase a tree into this tree line, and he's going to die a slow and painful death as Gabby gets a double kill on this bristle. You have to be so careful not to fight this bristle at this point in the game. He's doing so much work, and this this quill spam, uh, spam coming out is doing so much damage. He's That's got the uh, hood. He's going to have the vanguard up in a second as well. Well, Ajit jumping forwards onto the Kunker here, and he did already use his torrent, so Ajit feels pretty safe to go for this one, and dodges a boat with a nice zip forwards, but in your dream, staying alive with the boat, but now the torrent comes out with an ornament from the Crystal Maiden, and they take down that Storm Spirit, and Skylark just limps away, failing that gank, and they back. Oh, I know that feeling. It's heartbreaking. Uh, they find the Death Prophet again. There's a lot of heroes around, so I think they will be able to finish off this DP. Although, in comes the tree to keep him alive. In comes the shard, so gonna block him off. Can they get a couple more hits on him? The zip force from Ajit will be enough to finish the job. Now chasing Zephyr into the tree line. There's a lot of heroes coming in from TNC, but they will finish off the tree and, and TNC just back themselves out. Not really looking. He just sell well with them as well. Obviously, you want the max heart stopper. You want the max ghost shard just for the... Uh... Ability to take more magic damage this game actually. Okay, I guess the max ghost shot doesn't really help you too much. CM running in this top lane now. KTP's in as well. He's got that exorcism and they'll pop down the CM ulti with it as well. Gabby being chased into the tree lines. Have they got an interrupt for this? They do indeed have that Yule Scepter. And they'll keep Gabby still, but in comes Necrofoss. They actually meaning to make a fight of this. Down comes a golem, in fact. Not quite in time to save Gabby, but maybe in time to get a kill onto the Ludo. Although the turnaround can ah, so much damage. They take down Skylark. 458 on the Ludo also drops. In comes a torrent and the X marks. They've got this warlock, but he's in vised up. They don't have the sight for him. Meanwhile, Seven being chased into the trees. The Tusk looking for at least one return kill. Is he going to get it? No, he's not. It's so close. Oh, yeah. The end will tick him off. Thank God. He's really I... far behind, though. I think they've itemized so defensively, like the Necro's going hood, and then he has a blade mail. He's got hood and then going blade mail, sorry. Smoke up, they're looking for the Storm Spirit. This is the absolute perfect target if they can kill him here. And Zephyr, well, they're going to initiate onto the Bristleback, try and get him down nice and quickly, but this guy, he is so tanky. And now with the Shrine as well, I'm not sure this is actually a good fight for Tigers. As uh, the Trink gets punched up into the air, just nobody seemed to die here. And now, oh, oh jump forwards with the Bonds. They're going to go onto the Death Prophet when she comes back down. Can they finish her off? They certainly can. CM just trying to get this ultimate off, and they He'll do the best to shut her up. Down comes a side, and that is three big kills for Clutch Gamers. And uh, a very questionable fight for them indeed. I mean, at least your Lunar and your Kunker stayed alive. Could have been fine, worse. But... Could have been worse. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really not that great, though, at the same time. <laughs> no, a terrible fight, for sure. And could Spell return oh, they back in. Oh, they yields to stop him getting that X marks off now in the middle of everything, but the Overgrowth to return. It's a huge boat onto four heroes, but is it enough? Yolt in the back lines get taken out. They do find the kill onto the Kunker. Now turning it around onto the Luna. She can't really fight her way through this. It's Gabby with the Quills. They take down the Luna. K coming in, though. She's got the Exorcism available, trying to do as much damage as she can as Bristleback retreats to the Drilla. Zephyr going to come in with the Root. Almost gets his life for it, but not quite, and it's going to be Boombax just limping away from this one. The Storm's already out. Necro made it out as well, so it's just their Bristol and their, uh, their Warlock. Although Ajit comes back in. He's not done. He'll fight up into an Exorcist. I'm sure. Who cares about that? There was an Invis trio on his face the whole time. What did it matter? Although the roll forwards may be a little bit questionable. This fight's not over, but Ajit's out of mana. He's kind of wishing it was over, and I think finally they will disengage. The CM chases them off, which is uh, probably that the was... least threatening chase in the world, but need to make sure they stop focusing this bristle just ignore him completely in these fights just focus the uh, the warlock focus the necro get them down first because they're the sustain heroes Oh, in comes Ajit with the snowball as well. They have found the Kunker and they're keeping him locked down. They've got the dust as well. He's just kind of have to go and try and fight his way through it. And uh, with that spirit battle, it's going to limit what the boat can do a little bit. But he's so tanked. Down comes the golem. They really want to secure this kill. And they'll have to rely on trying to get the fatal bonds damage off. But it's just not happening. And Kunker somehow managing to toggle through it all through the fatal bonds through the urn. I didn't even know that was possible. And I think Clutch Gamers have figured this one out. Gabby running to the front lines. He's fine to get jumped here. He's even going to bait it. He's just sitting here going, yeah, I'm just a bristle farming alone. 
You see Clutch is just hugging their vision sure. on that high ground. Hope you don't go on me and he's going to pop that BKB and uh, doesn't quite get rid of the uh, Silverage, but it doesn't oh, matter. The storm! Oh no, he gets immediately rooted up and killed. Buys back straight into the fight though. Skylight taking a fair amount of damage. 4-5-8 with his BKB on the front lines. Just not really bothered. So the storm, the only stra uh, fatality of this fight so far. And he's actually going to go onto an illusion here as well. That was a fair amount of mana dumped onto that. Now oh, CM's wow. going for the ulti onto the high ground. And storm, well, looks like it's just not going to work. Agit dies again. He actually died in the middle of that CM ulti, and now the Bristle back, he's on the front lines, but he's getting torn apart, there's nothing they can do. Down goes Boombacks as well, Necrofoss into the air, nothing he can do, rooted up, and he's gonna fall, and Zephyr didn't even need to use that overgrowth. What happened to the Storm in that fight? The thing is, when they get this Roche here, they're just gonna shut Clutch Gamers out of the map. They're just gonna keep them forced in their base. Oh, they're even gonna throw the uh, boat for the strength onto the... Roshan, and there you go. Oh, uh, Skylar coming forwards here. Bristle as well. It's a beautiful shot. It's going to catch out too. 458 having to pop the BKB, but this could be a very early Aegis drop. Uh, Jet jumping in. Overgrowth hits nicely onto three. Now the snowball up onto the high ground. Going to finish off the Crystal Maiden. Zephyr in the middle of it all, though. This Treant's getting low, and Gabby with the BKB cutting him down. Tars trying to get away from this one, but there's nowhere for him to go. It looks like he might just survive. Meanwhile, Ajit coming forwards again. It's a buyback from Zephyr. Wants to get into this fight. He doesn't have an overgrowth available, though. They use the ulti onto the Luna, trying to just get rid of this hero and they do bring him down for the second time that is luna dead exism though bkb from k as well the t uh, bristleback's trying to get away from this one x marks brings him back meanwhile on the back lines of the fight seven's just playing it up gabby oh, though into torrent. the air the torrent is nice does kill the maiden but it doesn't matter as a crypt zone comes through onto boom back so skylark chasing down able to find this kill this death prophet just lives through it all what is happening this game there are so many kills so many fights the question is can he get there Well, <laughs> a rare moment of silence, but it's not going to last for long as Gabby just walks straight into Zephyr here and it's all going off. Exits and pop, they're running forwards. Who's dropping lows? Necrofoss on the front lines. He's going to be the first casualty. The Triant will follow up as Gabby's just sitting on the front lines with this BKB, but for. 5-8 chasing in on this Luna. Meanwhile, the Prophet just going to pop that BKB in the Exes and looking to roll forwards. Boombax is going to be in trouble in your dream, finishing it off with that uh, Tidebringer. Tower's already dead, but I think they're looking to maybe back out now. This is going to be the biggest thing. Uh, Kunkus 25 is nothing compared to this. It just allows the tree to blink in and just hold everybody. When they have this ghost ship, uh, ghost ship fleet on top of it as well, there's going to be lots of damage. Uh, Gabby okay here? They've got the Silver Edge if they want to use it. Oh, exorcism? Hello! Kay's turning up. He's, he's taking his gloves off. And Gabby's just kind of running away from this one. And the shard's going to block off Kay and... Uh, blinking forwards onto the high ground, getting a silence onto two. Kay's just chasing. He's a one-man army. As in comes Ajit, looking to do some damage. And now oh, they use Eclipse. the Axe, the Eclipse, onto the teammate. And they just take down Skylark. What a little play there as Boombax comes in. And now the Golem, it's onto four. Though the boat going to drag them all back. Oh, They're oh. all in place as the Overgrowth comes through. The CM Ultimate on top. There's three of them all dead from that. And the Yol's just sitting on the back lines. Doesn't really know what to do with himself. He's going to back out of this one. CM, like a true Crystal Maiden should, going for the full duration of his ultimate they have one talent we haven't talked about is the exorcism uh, on the 25 talent on dp giving her haste is it's just ridiculous well, like you can just illusions. get rid of your boots oh they pop the golem inside roshan but there's no one left there oh no that was not the play we want a storm playing around with the lunar illusion and uh, oh, what a blink tnc just going for the smoke plays up onto the high ground death prophet she just doesn't care uh, facing off against the two supports. They'll throw down the Eclipse on her and completely take him out. They're not trying to bring down the Conquer. They can't quite find the damage for it though. BKB up on Gabby. And now comes the Overgrowth keeping them still. And the Necrobosses can't do a thing. Bought down very quickly indeed. Down goes Gabby as well. Ajit finds himself all alone. And GG is called. TNC Tigers, they do it in a spectacular fashion. Yeah, that was a really <laughs> That was such a good team fight. It was like all the nuke damage coming through. If they don't have their BKBs up, they're just dead. And you see Bristle walks into that fight. They just don't have any damage. Like this Bristle and the Necro, it feels like they do the same thing. They're like that utility hero. And uh, yeah. if the Storm doesn't get farmed in that draft, then they just don't do anything.